a new record if I ever release it. <laughs> well, I was quiet in the back 40 trailer park last night. I mean, there were a few domestic fights and them usual petty crimes, but I was feeling all right. I was drinking whiskey with my Sprite and toasting all those ghosts of the lost southern pines when I heard a lurking in the night. I knew something wasn't right as I was covered in the white of this otherworldly light and I looked up and I beheld it was a spacecraft from another world. At least that's what I thought I observed as I ain't learned but I can certainly confirm that there ain't nothing on this planet ever turned at the angle and the rate of speed at which it surged. And then I heard my neighbor Wanda, she was cursing in slurs as the UFO swirled and upon her trailer it converged and she was carried away in this tractor beam. It was a horrible scene, her hair was still in rollers, her nightie was busting at the seams and her scream got all the more extreme as she flew through the air to this extraterrestrial machine and I said oh my god this can't be a dream cause I mean yeah I know I've been drinking I probably even smoked a little green but I can't stand LSD man and this would be an hallucination supreme even I'll see So I jumped into action like a Vietnam era Marine. I said, this is going to be war. I'd seen one before. I had a stash of ammunition underneath my trailer floor. And I'd heard freaky stories galore from Bubba next door. And it sure ain't my ass the aliens going to probe and explore. So I got me a 12-gauge pump and an AR. I got my granddaddy's government issue, K Bar. I said, y'all aliens should have never came down here. <laughs> now this is gonna be war. Cause I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. I've been waiting on the aliens to come, yeah. I've been waiting on the aliens to come. <laughs> This is the dumbest song that I ever wrote, y'all. <laughs> Sing it for y'all. Well, I threw some cover fire and I jumped and I crawled to my truck. I knew if I was going to beat these aliens that I'd need distance and luck. So I sped through the muck until I ended up over by the fence line. I hunkered down in the brush. And I started sighting in my gear when this little green man appeared and he looked right through my soul while in my eyes he stared and I knew he must have got scared when he saw that I had no fear and that I'd smoke his little green ass without shedding a tear and then he disappeared and I said, God, this is really getting weird and so I ran through that trailer park like a redneck Paul Revere I said, the aliens are coming <laughs> Take to running, boys. Let's take our stand here, y'all. Let's do some extraterrestrial hunting. Cause I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. I've been waiting on the aliens to come. Yeah. I've been waiting on the aliens to come. Well, stars fell on Alabama. A lot of other shit has too. But the last thing we were gonna take was being pursued by some alien crew who intergalactically flew through time and space just to land into the back 40 trailer park. And yeah, we made our mark. We beat them aliens back and we did it in the dark and we found Wanda and her only remark 
was that she gets they had to abduct her. But in her nightgown, man, that was just harsh. And I even stole a little space traveling cart. I put it out in the barn. Me and Bubba painted it camouflage. And we're about to embark as an interstellar white trash, Lewis and Clark. We're going to call ourselves the Alabama Astronauts. Cause I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. I've been waiting on the aliens to come, yes. I've been waiting on the aliens to come. Yeah.